This is Looter Too Late Camp 2014. You can hear everybody shooting over there. Uh, camp just getting started. We've still got plenty of people coming, but I've set up everything. I feel pretty comfortable. I still got to build a fire. Still got to get the meal ready, and I'll probably try and do some hard tack tonight after the meeting. Everything's working great so far. Have a good night, guys. Hey, survivors. Uh, this is our wrap up for Looter Too Late 2014. You saw the little opening video. That's the only video I shot over the weekend. I apologize. We had a lot of stuff going on. We had a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of people to visit with. A lot of things to learn, do, and I got carried away with everything else going on, so I apologize for that. But all the gear that I took with me worked uh, reasonably well. Solar yard light I took worked just fine. I just stuck it in the ground out in front of my camp. Uh, you may have been able to see it in the video. I just had it shoved in the ground there. Worked great. This is the twine I used, that household twine you saw in the cordage video. It didn't hold up real well on a single strand. And it broke several times. Uh, the wind pulling on the on the plastic tarp there. I think if I doubled it or tripled it, it'd been fine, but. Uh, after about 12 hours, it started to get kind of lax. It never fell down on me at night, but it did fall down a couple times uh, Saturday during the day. So it functioned. It would have functioned better if I doubled or tripled it. And each time it'd break, I'd just retie it. I, I didn't use a new piece. I just tied a knot in the old piece. So... There again, functionality, it was fine. It just wasn't the perfect solution, but we weren't looking for perfect solutions uh, for Looter Too Late. We were looking for something. The plastic tarp I used. I used the thinnest plastic we could find over in the paint section. They called it a drop cloth. I think it was listed at 0.7 mil. They had some stuff that was up around like two or three mil. This worked really well. Uh, what I did was I folded and tripled the corners, put a little rock in it, and then tied some of that twine around it. And I used that to stake it out. So it worked fine. Uh, a little common sense, you know, went a long ways with it. It, it is, in my book, a little too thin for most of us to carry in our bags but it is functional like I said if you could have got a hold of the stuff that was heavier than two or three mil it'd been great uh, the other thing that surprised me quite a bit was my shower curtain worked very well I used it for a ground cloth and it was fabulous the uh, cloth and stuff I took to use for blankets did not do as well as I would have liked. It got down, I think, uh, mid 50s most nights, uh, both nights rather. I got chilly. I'll just tell you right now. And I put down quite a bit of uh, leaves and stuff underneath my shower curtain. And I had a dog to sleep with. And I still got kind of chilly, but I did not build my own fire there. Normally I would have had a reflector fire just outside of my uh, tarp. Or plastic in this case. Since we didn't want to use a lot of the landowner's firewood that he was nice enough to let us have, <clears throat> we had a communal fire pit we did use. Which was great, you know, it gave everybody a chance to kind of sit around, cook, talk, uh, make the best of the time we had. You know, it, it, yeah, it's a full weekend, but it's never enough time when you're trying to learn and be outdoors and spend time with friends and meet new friends. 
So we used a communal fire, so I didn't have my own fire, which would have made a huge difference. Uh, the pickled pig's feet were by far the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten. I did not eat them all by a long shot. Uh, Hera Jean here got quite a bit of them. Yes, you did. Yes, you liked. She liked them a lot. I uh, I didn't care for them at all. Fortunately, there was uh, mulberries were ripe, so I ate quite a bit of mulberries. I found some plantain, and uh, there was an apple tree. There was an apple tree nearby, so I had a couple of apples. But uh, predominantly, I ate hardtack all weekend. Uh, the hardtack is really filling. I mean, it doesn't take very much of it. I don't recall ever being really hungry. I think Sunday morning I was kind of hungry when I got up. I did end up, uh, I ate some of the hardtack, and I had an apple, and I was fine. Uh, but I don't recall being hungry all weekend. I really don't. The big mistake I made was I had nothing to protect me from mosquitoes. Whew. That was... Uh, that was a bad call on my part. So if you get the chance and you're looting and it's summer, you know, loot you some deep woods off, guys. Uh, you'll be thankful that you did. Uh, fortunately, Sean McKee from uh, My Family's Prepared actually shared a little bit of his with me, and that was, that was great because that made it uh, much more bearable. But gear-wise... Like I said, I thought the twine didn't do as well as I'd like, but it, it would suffice an emergency. I thought the plastic, even though it was way too thin, really did a good job. Shower curtains did a great job. Uh, my little solar light, solar yard light did a good job. And pickled pig's feet are really only suitable as dog food in my book. So anyway, guys, don't forget, you've got until September 1st to get in on the blowgun contest. Just make five videos. Uh, discuss the same topics I discussed in Looter Too Late 1 through 5. And go nuts. Uh, the staff and I will sit down and pick out a winner. Oh, just shortly after. Probably by September 10th or so, we'll have a winner announced for the four-foot long uh, big bore cold steel blowgun all right guys get out there uh, if you've got to make a creative man get out there and get creative you know find your own stuff figure out your own things see what works now's the time to find out will this work or will it not work uh, find out before you absolutely have to find out before it's an emergency Figure out which fire starting method works best for you as a backup. Uh, I'm going to assume you have matches and lighters and stuff for your primaries, but you know, know how to use your backups. Know how to use your secondary and uh, tertiary fire starting methods. Know how to make a shelter ahead of time. Know how to lash poles together for whatever. You know, know how to build a reflector fire. Learn these things now before it's too late, before it's a life-threatening issue, before your family's counting on you, before your friends are counting on you, before your life might depend on it. Learn them now, please. Uh, like I said before, we need all the survivors we can get, guys. You know, you can't really help anybody else if you're not prepared. If you're prepared and you have extra, you can help others. You know, if you're not prepared, you can't even help yourself. So, get prepared. Be a survivor. Later, guys. Get outdoors. Have fun.